the Pastophorus of the Vatican. Utahorisnet, son of the Lady Dmaritis and of Paftotnit, a provost of the temples and prophet of the goddess Nithatse, had risen to positions of high dignity under the last kings of the 26th dynasty. He has the ancient titles of Erptka, Nat and Smore Extraordinary, and was commander-in-chief of the royal ships under Amasis and Samitichus III. The rest of his career is described in the following inscriptions. When the great king of all lands, Cambyses, came to Egypt, the people of all foreign lands were with him. He exercised sovereignty in the land in its entire extent, they set right down in it, he being the great king of Egypt, the mighty sovereign of this country. His majesty conferred upon me the dignity of chief San, and granted that I should be by him as small and provost of the temple. He assumed the official title in his name of Mesterar. I made known to his majesty the grandeur of Say, as being the abode of Neith, the great mother, who gave birth to the son god Ra, the firstborn, when as yet no birth had been, together with the doctrine of the grandeur of the house of Neith, as being a heaven in its whole plan, together with the doctrine of the grandeur of the other temples of Neith, and of all the gods and goddesses who dwell in them, also of the grandeur of the Hat Nat, as being the abode of the sovereign and lord of heaven, together with the doctrine of the grandeur of the south chapel and of the North Chapel, of the House of Ra, and of their House of Tmu, as being the mysterious abodes of all the gods. I made supplication to the King Cambyses against the people who had taken up their abode in this Temple of Neith, that they should be dislodged from it in order that the Temple of Neith should be restored to all its splendors as formerly. His Majesty ordered that all the people should be dislodged who had taken up their abode in the Temple of Neith that all their houses should be destroyed, and that all their belongings which were in the temple they should themselves carry out of the precincts of this temple. His Majesty gave order that the temple of Neith should be purified, that all its OVN people should be restored to it. Apostrophe People. Hours of the Temple. His Majesty gave order that the sacred revenue should be restored to Neith, the Great Mother, and the Great Gods of Say, as formerly. His Majesty gave orders to restore all their panegyries, and all their possessions as formerly. His Majesty did this because I had instructed him as to the grandeur of Say, as being the city of all the gods who dwell upon their thrones within it forevermore. When King Cambyses arrived at Say, His Majesty came himself to the Temple of Neith and made presents to the Almighty Goddess of all good things, to Neith, the Mighty One, the Divine Mother, and to the gods who are in Say as all pious kings have done. His Majesty did this because I had instructed him as to the grandeur of the goddess, as being the mother of the sun god himself. His Majesty performed all the rites at the temple of Neith. He established the offering of a libation to the Lord of Eternity within the temple of Neith, as all kings had done of old. His Majesty did this because I had instructed him as to all the rites at this temple performed by all the kings on account of the grandeur of this temple, as being the dwelling of all the gods who abide forevermore. I established the property of Neith, the Mighty One, the Divine Mother, as His Majesty had ordered, for an everlasting duration, I provided the monuments of Neith, the Mistress of Say, with all good things, as doth every dutiful servant for his Lord. I was a good man before his face. I saved the population in the dire calamity which took place throughout the whole land, such a one as had never happened in this land. I shielded the weak against the strong, I protected him who honored me, and was to him his best portion. I did all good things for them when the time came to do them. I was pious towards my father and did the will of my mother, kind-hearted towards my brethren. I established for them what His Majesty had ordered, giving to them splendid lands for an everlasting duration, as His Majesty had pleased. I made a good sarcophagus for one who had no coffin. I made all their children to live, I made firm all their houses, I did for them all good things as a father doth for his son when the calamity came to pass in this gnome, yea when the dire calamity befell the entire land. His Majesty the King Darius, ever living, gave orders that I should come to Egypt whilst His Majesty was in 
Arafah he was sovereign of all provinces and great king of Egypt, to re-establish the school of the high aerogrammatists and restore what had fallen in ruin. And strangers conveyed me from province to province, bringing me in safety to Egypt according to the command of the Lord of the two lands. I did what his majesty had commanded. I chose them from their schools, out of the children of the inhabitants to the great sorrow of the childless. I gave them to a skillful teacher who should instruct them in every kind of work. I provided all those who distinguished themselves with all that was necessary for the scribe's profession according to their progress. His majesty did this in consequence of his knowing that this work was the best means of restoring what had fallen into ruin, of rendering firm the names of the gods, their temples, their revenues, and the celebration of their festivals forevermore. I was devoted to all the masters that I had, and they bestowed upon me decorations of gold and gave me all glory. O oh, all ye gods who are in say! Declare all the glorious things which the chief San, Utahorisnet, hath done, O oh, grant to him all glory, establish for him a good name in this land forevermore. O oh, Cyrus, Lord of Eternity! The chief San, Utahorisnet, putteth his arms behind thee to guard thine image. Be the done to him all glorious things as he hath done who protecteth thy shrine forevermore. A royal table of offerings grant Osiris Hemaka, abundance of bread, beer, beeves, geese, and all good and pure things to the image of the chief San, Utahorisnet, pious towards the gods of Say. A royal table of offerings grant Osiris abiding in Hatnat, funeral offerings bread, beer, beeves, geese, mummy bands, incense, and all good things to the image of the great San, Utahorisnet, pious towards all the gods.